in this example we have um, two different dielectric shells, dielectric uh, materials, thicknesses which are in uh, spherical distribution and in fact uh, we have a metal, charged metal uh, with plus Q which has radius A and around this metal we have a shell of dielectric material with uh, dielectric constant K1 which uh, has the radius B and around this one we have another dielectric uh, material which has dielectric constant K2 with the radius C and on the outer shell we have uh, the second metal which has the negative charge minus Q so we have two metals uh, plus Q and minus Q in between we have two uh, different uh, spherical dielectric materials which has K1 and K2 dielectric constants K1 and K2 at radii B and C so what is the question is what is the capacitance of this configuration okay well, uh, there is nothing changes, there is no difference if you put uh, just on the border between two dielectric materials, K1 and K2, a, a metal shell which is very uh, thin, okay, you see that only the cross section of these uh, spherical uh, uh, capacitor uh, and we put a metal shell just in between, very, very thin metal shell between two dielectric uh, materials and there will be no difference. Why? Because uh, there will be no any potential uh, difference uh, between K1 and K2 right at the border and when you put this metal shell the inner surface will accumulate minus Q charge and the outer uh, surface will accumulate plus Q charge because of the electric field uh, between uh, K1 inside the K1 and K2 okay so once uh, we do this uh, what we have in that case we have two spherical uh, capacitors, capacitors which are serially connected to each other okay so that means uh, you will apply uh, the rule of uh, finding the equivalence capacitor of two uh, serially connected capacitances and each capacitance is a, a spherical capacitor and we know already uh, what the expression is uh, for a spherical capacitor which has plus uh, charge Q minus uh, charge Q uh, as the metal uh, shells and the capacitance expression for a spherical capacitor is nothing but 4 pi epsilon 0 uh, the radio, radio, radius of the inner uh, shell, metal shell, and the radius of the outer shell, and this uh, multiplied and divided by the difference between these radius, radii, and if there is, of course, between the plates, there, uh, there is no any dielectric material, which uh, uh, we have only uh, vacuum or air as uh, the insulator between the uh, plates, but of course, if, if, if you have a dielectric material then you will multiply this expression by the dielectric constant so the inner uh, capacitor the inner uh, spherical capacitor in that case c1 that we call c1 as k1 times 4 pi epsilon 0 a times b divided by b minus a and uh, the outer uh, spherical capacitor which is the capacitance between this plus q plate and the minus q plate and we will have that in that case k2 times 4 pi epsilon 0 b times c divided by c minus b so the equivalent capacitor is just we will add these capacitances and serially uh, and the expression for uh, c is just c1 times c2 divided by c1 plus c2 and if you simplify this expression with this formulation then you will get the end result as 4 pi epsilon 0 a times B times C divided by this expression K1 A C minus B plus K2 C B minus A and for verifying this uh, formula if you put K1 and K2 it is equal to 1 that means you will have only one capacitors uh, spherical capacitor 
and the inner uh, radius is A and the outer radius is C, then of course you will have the net capacitance as 4 pi epsilon 0 A times C divided by C minus A. But will we have this if we put K1 and K2 is equal to 1? When if you put K1 and K2 is equal to 1, you can simply check, it's just an algebra, then C will reduce to this expression. Uh, 4 pi epsilon 0 a times c divided by c minus a so the this is this expression is verified and if we have uh, two different dielectric materials in between two spherical uh, uh, conductors which are on in the shape of a sphere then you would have a capacitor, a serially capa a connected capacitor, and each capacitor uh, uh, will be given by uh, the capacitance of a spherical capacitor, this expression, and the end result is just you add these capacitances serially to get the final equivalent capacitance.